Do you rent your house or own your house? I rent my house. Is what type of structure? Is it a single family detached, a townhouse, condo, or apartment? A uh, single family it's detached. detached in it. Mm -hmm. About when did you move in? October 2017. Okay, our first question will be, have you always lived in the Crisp County community? No. So, tell us how you ended up living in Crisp County. I came down to Crisp County for a job. Um, currently work for the community newspaper here. So... Can you tell us a little bit about what kind of house that you live in? It's uh, a mobile home with um, a foundation and um, things were added on to it. Extra parts of the house were added on. So it's not mobile anymore. So it's got some permanent structure to it. Yeah. The next you're going to talk about in your own words and the... Uh, why you did or have not adopted rooftop solar in your current place of residency. So, do you have rooftop solar for your home? I do not. So, tell us why you do not have rooftop solar on your home. Did you make that decision or has it been made for you? Um, I guess I would say it's been made for me by my landlord. Um, but I hadn't really thought about the option until now. <laughs> so, why is it something that you just thought about? What made you think about it? Um, well, first getting that article to publish in the newspaper about doing the interviews and the research project, um, that got me thinking more about it. And then coming in to do this, um, has me more aware of you know, rooftop solar energy is definitely an option that's out there. Sorry for talking too fast. Mm -hmm. So you're used to being on the other end of it, so that makes a difference. Um, if you were able to do rooftop solar, what? why would you or why would you not? If you were able to, you took your landlord's decision out and you were able to do it. I probably would because it's renewable energy. And um, although it would be kind of expensive to implement at first, it would pay itself off really fast. And I'm all about renewable energy, finding alternative options. So why would you be up to talking to your landlords and seeing if they'd be into implementing solar panels on their rooftop? Yeah. If you have anything to add elsewise, you can. Oh, okay. Those are just questions. <laughs> I asked you a question, Ed. So now we're going to talk some about the adoption. And so the objective is to identify how the information categorized in our community um, can be adopt might be able to help adopt rooftop solar panels and what kind of people would. So I'd like to talk to you a bit about the rooftop solar adoption in general. So we're going to talk about the United States mm -hmm. as a whole. And what I want you to do with your U.S. map is to take the blank map and a pen and we're going to talk about... Um, where in the U.S. do you think so rooftop solar is more adopted? So what you're going to do is just kind of circle or mark the areas you think that solar is more adopted throughout the U.S. Cool. Probably the New England area, too. <laughs> um, anywhere else it's really sunny. So what do you think makes those communities so different to where they adopt solar? Um, probably because they're um, 
at least from what I know of, there are places where people tend to have a little bit more money. Um, also, people are more environmentally aware, or at least they take environmental issues as a, you know, something to care about. Um, like, especially like in Vermont, I'm sure there's plenty of people that use solar energy and then California because it's super sunny over there and hot and lots of people have money I'm sure that they have solar energy in that area as well and then Hawaii yeah. okay so we're going to talk about Georgia now for a little bit and we're going to talk about Georgia with the map and in the communities of Georgia what do you think are the areas that might use solar more in Georgia on their rooftops than any other areas? Probably the Atlanta area, Athens, maybe Savannah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll do Savannah. So what do you think makes these people in the Atlanta, Athens, Savannah areas different from the people in Crist County? Um, just because they're larger cities, um, there's, um, I think, again, I think there are people there that have a little bit more money to be able to afford to implement these things and get them to happen. Um Plus, in Athens, you know, that's where UGA is, and um, I imagine they probably, you know, on UGA campus especially, they probably do stuff for solar energy, at least research and stuff like that. So, anybody in, what about some of your close friends do, in Georgia? Do you think that any of, the, they, they, any of them have rooftop solar? Um, as far as I know, uh, no. <laughs> Why not? Um, probably because at, at this point, none of us are homeowners yet. <laughs> and, um, it's something that, I don't know, we haven't really talked about very much. Now you have a new topic to talk about. Yeah. So, is there anything that you would like to add to the rooftop solar, what you think about it? Um, I hope that it becomes something that's more, um, you know, more common. Um, and that people start to move to renewable energy usage. Um, and I hope that at some point, you know, relatively soon, I can be a homeowner and also have a rooftop solar panel.